Oh, hi, Anne Marie. How are you? I'm good. What are you doing there? Uh, I was just uh, smelling this maple syrup that I produced. I thought you were doing science. Well, I am the science of making maple syrup. Oh, cool. I didn't know there was a science behind making maple syrup. Well, sure there is. All trees photosynthesize during the growing season and produce sugars for their use to grow. And then in the fall, these trees stop growing and the excess sugars are stored for the following spring in their root system. And some of those sugars are stored in the tree trunk and those are called the rays. So if you look at the stump of a tree, you'll see the rings of wood, everybody knows. Perpendicular to those are the rays and they start from the center of the tree and go out to the bark. They consist of living cells that hold sugars and nutrients that the trees use for building new cells and repairing damage like from a nail or woodpecker hole. And these rays are the source of the sugar for making maple syrup. That's amazing. Tapping trees for sugar is something Native American tribes have been doing for thousands of years, actually. Wow, way to keep up the tradition. Can you do this at any time of the year? Well, actually, timing is everything. It has to be in the spring after a cold winter because remember, all those sugars are stored in the roots. And then when is, the time is just right, it's freezing at night under 32 degrees Fahrenheit and then warm during the day above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's when the sap will run. This swing in temperature forces the roots of the maple trees to begin drawing water up the tree. This occurs in the transport tubes, the xylem and the phloem. They're kind of like straws. The xylem brings the nutrients up the tree of the, uh, from the roots and the phloem transports the sugars back downwards. Oh, that's interesting. But how does the sap move up and down the tree? Well, the, that's a really good question. The maple trees also have a gas in the fibers that expand and contract with the shift in these temperatures. The sap freezes overnight and it creates this pressure that's needed to push the, up the phloem when temperatures are above freezing on a sunny spring day, just like today. Oh, but how do you get the sap out of the tree? It's actually fairly simple. We need a few tools, a portable electric drill. I use a 7 16 bit because this is a good size to fit our tap, which will hammer in lightly. Then we place our bag over the tap when the tree is producing sap, it drips down and collects in our bag. The next step is to collect all the sap and stockpile it into buckets until we boil, usually over a wood fire underneath because we're doing this outside. Then we boil the sap down from a ratio of 40 to one. That's 40 gallons of sap to one gallon of syrup. If we have 40 gallons of sap, that would only make one gallon of syrup? Yeah, exactly, it sounds like a lot. Uh, but also you could be tapping other trees like birch, which is a, even a bigger ratio, which is 80 to one. So that'd be 80 gallons of sap. And you boil it and it evaporates down to one gallon of syrup. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could get syrup from other trees. I can see how with maple syrup, you get more bang for your buck. So what is next in the process? So once it's close to being finished, you could bring all your stuff inside and finish boiling. Then you could check the temperature with an infrared thermometer. The sap becomes syrup at 219 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you could filter, bottle, and pressure seal it so it'll stay good for years. And then you could give your syrup to your friends and your family. Sounds delicious. That's making me hungry for pancakes. Too bad I don't have any. Pancakes? Don't mind if we do. Oh! Oh, you got it! Oh, I'll get some on here too. Why don't we? Now, we know that maple syrup is a nutritious natural sugar. Sounds like there's a lot of nutrients in maple syrup. Well, there sure is. Maple syrup is a way better alternative than eating processed sugar. Wow, delicious and with health benefits too. Yum. Mm, that's right. <laughs>